Yo, what is up everyone, Convert25, in this episode we'll be doing some more PVZ, we're gonna be going into 1-6 through 1-10. And my webcam's down here again, so this is the best angle for you guys, I hope so at least. And I'm in a new place for the night with my mom, we're out here in a cabin. Not like a really cabin, it's a big house, it looks like a cabin. I'm still doing a video. It's a potato mine, you place it, and it takes a while to arm itself, but then it goes... And then it comes up, and it kills a zombie. I like using potato mines, because they let me build up a starting sun base economy. And let me build up a defense after that. Sorry for slight lag as well, I'm uploading something, so... I got the Spadao achievement. That's gonna be my goal in this game. I don't care how many episodes it takes, I'm gonna try to complete this game 100%. All mini games done. Adventure mode done, um, the second adventure mode. Once you beat adventure mode, then you can play it again, but except Crazy Dave, that crazy guy with the pot on his head, he'll pick, um, at the start of every single level, he'll pick three plants for you. Except for the conveyor belt levels, but he'll pick three plants for you. So... Place some more sunflowers. Okay, there's a guy down there that needs to be spadowed. If, you, if you're wondering why I'm looking over, to you guys it's on the right. Or, to you guys it looks on the right, and otherwise... Okay, I'm confusing myself. It looks like I'm looking over to the left. And if you guys don't know about all that inverted stuff, it looks like I'm looking to the right, but I'm really looking over at my webcam. When I look straight, it's what, like that, it's when I'm looking at the game. Because I like to check on my webcam a lot. See a pole vaulter. Pole vaulter, they pole vault over one plant when they get to it. And they can pole vault over walnuts, so... Later in the game, if you guys don't know, there will be these things called tall nuts. Basically, um, they're a little bit stronger than walnuts, and they're tall enough to the point where the zombie cannot uh, kill them. So. Oh yeah, my shovel is uh, up here. So I can keep my webcam down here the whole time. So... Rid of him, rid of him, place him back, place some bar back, and we're back. I keep forgetting my shovels up here. Ah, oh, fudge. So I'm not going to be able to place a solid, uh, full symmetrical defense. So. Doing this. Just gonna keep on eating. It's fine by me. I wish I had the walnut first aid thing where, say, a walnut's broken like that, you can take another walnut and place it right over it, and it'll keep, basically bring it back to a freshly placed walnut. But until you get that, you basically have to do it the long way of digging it up and then placing another one. Another one. You need to die. Thank you. Because I cannot have you pole vaulting over our, all my plants and pushing up my crap. Oh, there's a cone head there. Which means. I have to place a walnut right there. And I don't have my microphone in this one. Because I think it looks better to me to just have my uh, things, my turtle head ones. That guy's just gonna keep on chewing. 
We're gonna have one more guy. Here's the thing, I'm gonna go like that. Now it's fully symmetrical. Ha! Ah! <laughs> I'm allowed to do that. This is my game, my video, I'm allowed to do that. Shoots frozen peas that damage and slow the enemy. So they damage them the same as like a normal pea shooter, like one, all that. But they also slow them down. Okay, that took a little longer, so... I don't want a free rake. I don't want an explode nut either. I'm probably not going to do the same thing I did last time. Hip. Hip. This video, I'm pretty sure, is going to be over 15 minutes. I don't see where he is. Is he on the bottom? I want to be able to see him first. He's right there. I think he's gonna get to it before. Lag, jeez. Right. He's gonna go. Spit out. I'm gonna do this. Because I want to snow pee behind the pea shooters. But I'm going to place a walnut row if I can, because this one has two waves. Two big waves. And I haven't felt the need to use the snow pee, but the next zombie I see is going to get snowed on. As you can say, I'm tapping both those sounds, not, and they didn't get him. Where is he? There he is, get snowed. See, it damages him like a normal pea shooter would, but it also, like, slows them down. Sorry for all the shaking, too. I'm just trying to find a comfortable position to hold my hand. Hold the phone in. And. Eh. Okay. Let's try placing walls on it, but I didn't want to place them in the wrong spot. Alright. Doing good. Everything is hunky dory. Over here in downtown Kirbyville. Kirbyville, Planet Popstar, and we also have our cap the capital, the, the big main country of Popstar, the biggest country in of Planet Popstar is, of course, Kirbyville, and the biggest city in Kirbyville is Robobot, Robobot City. You know, like the Kirby Planet Robobot, that game that they released in 2016. Best Kirby game of all time. While I'm at it, I better start placing some just potato mines. I'll place some potato mines, and if they get destroyed, if any of the potato mines get destroyed, it doesn't matter to me if they do or they don't. Then I'll start replacing them with more walnuts. Because if the pole vaulter guys are gonna be here, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be here, then if they pole vault over one of them, one row of them, then they'll have to get through another row. Or the pole vault, pole vault over the potato mine, and then they'll have to um, uh, eat the walnuts. So, just putting that out there.
All right, my defense is almost complete. And maybe I'm going a little bit too big for this, too big for my britches. If you guys have ever heard that phrase. Living large. Okay, please don't get that. I would like you to not get that. Don't get that. Gosh dang it, he's gonna get it. Uh, just one more thing for me that I have to place. Uh, another thing I have to place. Full vultures, man. Can't live with them. Can't live with them. Alright, that kind of just seemed to have given up and just dug up all the potato mines. I just started placing a bunch of walnuts. So, BRB when the wave's done. Alright, so he's gonna be dead, and I'm gonna get the Chomper. So if you guys don't know what the Chomper is, the Chomper is basically, you place him, and he when a zombie gets in the square in front of him, he just goes, oh, and he eats that zombie, but he's vulnerable for a while because he starts chewing. And I'm gonna take the Chomper in because obviously I gotta play with the new plant. It's pretty obvious. Alright, so here's what he does. He's there, and then a zombie gets in front of him. Sorry for the lag. He goes, um, and then he is vulnerable while he's chewing and chowing down on that zombie. He's vulnerable. So you have to get something else to protect him. The cool thing I think you can do is you can place, like, I know I placed a pea shooter there, but you can place another chomper, like, behind him. And when a zombie comes up to try to eat that one, he'll get eaten by that other chomper. And when the... The zombie goes to eat the chomper that's still chewing, he'll either get devoured by the chomper because after a while the chomper will swallow, or he'll just eat that one and then the one behind him, behind the second chomper, can eat him, and so on.
See? Like, after a while, that one that was just chewing swallowed. So, you just gotta kinda protect them. Also, there are buckethead zombies. They're stronger than coneheads. There's three stages to a bucket. There's normal, there's kinda damaged, and there's really damaged. And then there's normal zombie, and then dead. Welcome to the Buckethead Training Class, Cover Fire 25. Alright, the big wave, and I only have one more plant to place before I have a full defense and it's completed. I like the fact that everyone, every chomper is just ready and there's just one chomper that's like, hang on, hang on guys, I gotta finish chewing, just give me a second, this zombie tastes really good, I gotta get the flavor. Alright, we've now unlocked the repeater. Instead of shooting one pea, it goes pop, 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 which is two at a time. For first two pieces at a time. What I said! Something I would really like to mention, sorry my webcam's a little off, another thing I'd like to mention is that when it comes to coneheads, if you want a sing one single plant, one single projectile plant, sorry I was moving my arm, you want one single projectile plant that's good for killing coneheads, repeaters are your guy.
Alright, guys, something protecting every row. And I'm sorry for that. I think there's two ways, I thought I'd never be able to finish this. Sorry if I haven't been talking, I'm just not concentrating. Okay, so I'm surprised I only have one chomper. There were a couple times where I didn't have one chomper, but that was just sort of an emergency thing. The flipping pole vaulters kept getting by. And I'm messing up on my mic. Alright, so, we have got a note. I'm sitting in a chair, I'm just trying to make myself comfortable. Hello, we are about to launch an all-out on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. <laughs> just, hello, we're about to launch an attack on your house and we destroy the whole neighbor you live on. We're about to kill all your family, we're gonna take all your pets, we're gonna put them in the mound, and we're gonna just completely take all your stuff and destroy your house, so. Yeah, say goodbye to your life. We're coming in 20 minutes. Bye. You know how funny that would be? Okay. Stupid ad. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Oh, good. Very okay, good. What you can say, if you can try to defend against that. Okay. You just hold on a minute. I've got other plans. Like lag. Die, please. In. Two waves of this stuff. Get it dead. Uh, I don't really want the pieces. Cause I've played this, I've played this game and I've beaten this, I've beaten this game literally like five times now. I'm trying to make it a sixth with this series, but I've beaten this game five times and with this specific one, I prefer not to have the normal pea shooter. 
The reason why I looked kind of surprised when I saw the thing is because I don't remember exactly what happened because it's been a really long time since I played this game. No, no, you must die. I already have enough trouble with you guys. And I am tripping out on potato mines. But as I was saying, I already have enough trouble with you guys. I mean, I've beaten you, like, five times. Beaten this game five times, I've beaten this level, like, 50. Not even joking, I've beaten this level, like, 50 times. So, if you could just stop trying and move on with your life, That'd be nice, and not just waste the potato mine. Great. Another thing I have to go by. What is up with these zombies anyway? I mean, like, seriously, why do they want Crazy Dave's brain so bad? After this, I think I'm gonna get that Coca Cola that's in the fridge. Ha, you didn't think it would be another flipping walnut, though. No matter what to say, I don't really know anymore. 
going to be a problem if I keep getting potato mines because I'm starting to run out of room. I could probably just start digging up stuff. It is starting to become a problem. Just stop giving me the normal pea shooters. Stop giving me the normal pea shooters, please. Okay, thank you. Just give me something that's actually going to help me in this situation. I mean, no one normal pea shooter would help because it's another infantry for a line of fire. But my point is, when you got repeaters, potato mines, snow peas, and all that stuff, would you, would you take a normal pea shooter? I mean, I know some people out there who would, but still, I, in my opinion, I didn't take it. Stop giving me the potato mines. Okay, I'm just gonna start placing them up here. If they get eaten, that's fine by me. All I care about in the end is having everything symmetrical and having everything be just fine. And especially having none of my lawnmowers taken off, because... One, in later stages, they start to give you gold coin. Each one you have gives you a gold coin at the end of the stage. And two, because I'm a, I'm a basic, basic perfectionist. Basically, I'm a perfectionist. I like having everything perfect. Nothing in the world ever will be perfect. Or truly 100% perfect. But... Guys, I'm starting to run out of room here. Holy crap, the screen is going slow. It's overloading the peas. What would peas do to Rondi anyway? A normal pea is like... Like that big. Not even, so... If you put a normal... If you put like a normal... If you took a pea... If there was a zombie outside your house, would you take a pea and throw it at the zombie? Even if you did and you were that stupid, it wouldn't even anything, so... I don't see the point in trying. Another thing I don't see the need for is killing the zombies in the first place because they're already dead. I mean, I know they want your brains, but how can you kill something that's already dead? With throwing peas at it and exploding cherries and potato mines, I guess. I guess that's the way you kill a zombie, is with a pea shooter. Something shoots a vegetable. I guess you really do need to eat your vegetables because they kill the zombies trying to eat your brains. Listen to your parents, eat your veggies. I know you may not want to, but they'll help you later in life, and they obviously, otherwise, other than this game, they obviously won't kill the zombies that are trying to eat your brains. The quiet phone. Anyways, I was saying, they won't kill the zombies outside who are eating your plants and trying to kill your brains. And eat them, but... I think I'm gonna be done for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. And what is this? Shoots short-range spores at the enemy. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that button on the for more my uploads. Don't forget to follow the Be quiet. I'll see you guys next time for more. Peace out, everybody.